if you love entrepreneurship and you love business like myself there are three things that you should be asking yourself right now before you spend a dollar or before you waste a minute of your time are you ready let's do this do you have a feeling that you should be doing business but you do not know where to start or what business to go into this video is for you so I'm gonna tell you three things that you should be thinking about right now before you spend a dollar or waste a time on doing any business at all but before we go into that I want to give you a background story of how I fell in love with entrepreneurship so in college we had to take a course called entrepreneurship our assignment was to create a business that creates profit so we were boarding on campus we were living like in a rural area we didn't have easy access nobody drive we didn't have easy access to the town I immediately thought that I needed to create a service or provide a good to the students that they really need there was already a talk shop or a shop that they could buy all their necessaries I thought what on earth could I sell to these group of this group of students that they would buy then I had a light bulb moment and I thought yes I should sell sugarcane but not just the pure sugarcane I was gonna peel that sugarcane cool it chill it in some ice and sell it package it and sell it to the students that business was a success so much so that after the course was finished the next semester my teacher partnered with me and we continued the business isn't that amazing i was always doing business i was always trying business even though i did not know what i was doing i was always trying i fell in love with the concept of doing what I love and serving people but still I didn't know exactly what I was doing but past four years I've made a commitment to myself that I'm going to really find out how to do this thing how can I build a business whatever scale big or small and be successful now to the meat of the matter there are three words that should be ringing out in your head right now if you're planning to start a business and that's who what and how you should be asking who you're going to serve you should be asking what you're going to serve and sh you should be asking how are you going to deliver that service or that product and you want to keep that in that same order you want to say who you want to know who you want to know what and you want to know how hey I know you might be asking why would I ask who before I know what I'm gonna sell or what service I'm going to offer here is why so when you identify a group of people with a pain it is much easier for you to create a service or a product to solve or to relieve that pain of that group of people so I'll give you a prime example right when I moved to Switzerland I realized that there were many parents adoptive parents and mixed-race parents who needed help with the maintenance and care for their children's here so I created a mobile service where I went to their houses to do the children's here so I was solving their pain of maintenance of the hair and I was also solving another pain they didn't have to go to a salon sit for hours and wait for the children they could get that service done right in the comfort of their home and that brings me to the how how are you going to deliver that service to that group of people in my case it's a mobile service so in your case you need to think about how are you going to deliver that service is it going to be mobile is it going to be a shop front is it going to be an online service so these are the three things that you need to be thinking about right now especially since we have all the time in the world because we have to stay home just take the time out and think about if you really want to do your own business think about who you're going to serve what you're gonna serve them and how you're going to do that if you already have your what and you know exactly what you want to serve or you want to produce and you know that there's a market for it go ahead go ahead and continue with your development of your business but if you're at the stage where you know you want to do a business but you don't know what to do this is the 
perfect place to start this is a perfect thing to do these three things think about who a group of people if you're in university if you're in church wherever you are think about how you what you can provide these people that will relieve pain or that they really need and then produce that what produce that service or that product and then think about how to deliver it to them so in any case your who should always be first because it's much easier to sell your what to a group of people who you have studied before and you know that this is what they want than to create your what and try to figure out who is going to buy so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this content please let me know in the comment section please give me some thumbs up and so I can produce some more content like this one so have a nice day, keep safe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.